FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Sounding bad, feeling good. I've got a bad case of the old flu. It has nothing to do with COVID, just a summer cold. Uh, This is Billy Ray Valentine for TFNN, also known as LP. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the stock market. We've got a bifurcated market, as Basil would say. We've got the Dow down about 20, S&P up 6, and the NASDAQ up about 50. Very, very quiet day. Evidently, they haven't seen the notice that the market should be going down, but uh, they might be right. I might be wrong. That's always a possibility. But one of the things I wanted to talk about today is I spent the weekend chatting with uh, uh, John Jameson, like I always do, and for the first time in the, all the, I've known him uh, 22 years now, and uh, I've been, he's been working with me day, it's been, it's been five and a half years right now, and this is the first time that he is not bullish on the currency or the bitcoins and, and blockchains and stuff. I'll explain that to you in more detail when we come up. Those of you, just be very careful in here. Um, the thing that John is worried about was just published in the Financial Times early this morning. It's thing called Single Point of Failure. And that basically means, I'll explain that when we come up to the break, but there's a spot here where one little decision by some hacker somewhere in Pakistan, uh, Uganistan, Tarzanistan, wherever they could be, and they could change the whole game because these things are all based on computer codes. And as you can see from what's happened in the past, these computer codes can be broken. It doesn't make any difference, you know, who they are. And he says the risk there is just too great. And the fact is, I'll cover it a little bit more when we get into it, but I posted the chart here of COIN. And I've got some really good charts here. We've got a bunch of positions on that we need to talk about uh, when we come up from the break and stuff. So I'll only be on for the first 20 minutes because my, my voice is uh, – uh, I'm struggling to do this, but this is important enough. Tomorrow, my guest will be um, Grace Morris of Astro Economics. She'll be our guest uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. I have a travel date. I'm going back to uh, Tucson. And then uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, we'll have the regular show. And I believe I'm going to have Joe DiNapoli on on Friday. It's uh, scheduled, penciled in. And Bart DeLeone on Thursday. We'll be right back. Okay. 